just saying that my head's been hurting and I think it's because I've been wearing my hair up. That means it needs to be cut. I also need highlights. This is why I don't make hair appointments. It's not because I don't trust people. It's because when I want it done, I want it done. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in it because I dried it naturally and curly, so it's not gonna slide through as well. So I'm hoping that the oil will let it slide through a little bit better and the bleach will cut through the oil no problem. So I'm not worried about that. And this is gonna make me feel nice and bright. I'm feeling dull and drab. This is why I don't go to the hair salon because I have no patience. If I want something, I want it done now. So luckily I have the skill that I can do that though. And my hair is really easy guys. So my hair is naturally light. It's a level seven. If your hair is anything above a six, I don't know if I would attempt to do this because then you're running into the problems of brassiness potentially. It's like it's just better off to go to a hair stylist unless you really know what you're doing and you're confident or you just don't care if things go wrong. You know, some people just don't they just want to experiment and that's fine i'm kind of a blonde anyways i'm just a ginger blonde so it's pretty hard to mess it up so i'm going in every hole both the circles and in between i have a magnifying mirror that i'm looking in so i can really see where the hair is landing i can see that the direction of the hair is going this way so it also will help me decide which way i want to angle my crochet hook to get in and get a good piece so here i can tell i need to go in that way here i want to go in that way this is around my part, so I want to grab it this way. I'm going to fast forward this so you're not completely bored. And I want to see the same amount of volume of hair on this side as I do on this side. I can tell I have a little bit more density here, so I'm going to go back and pull a little bit more through on these pieces. Oh, I was missing one altogether there. And the oil, by the way, is helping. I was right. Once I get going, I can get it done pretty fast. So now that I've got this front area done, I've got to do this side, but I'm going to switch from every hole to every hole in the circle. So I don't care if it's as bright back there as it is up front. And you want to make sure that you comb through. If you didn't get that section of hair all the way out and it's kind of looped, then it's not going to be good, especially if you have darker hair. If I made a mistake in my hair, it's a little bit more forgiving. But if you make a mistake in hair darker than mine, you'll be able to see that. And it'll look like a spot. So I'm going to take my comb and make sure it's all combed through. I hope you can see where I'm going to highlight right in there. So this part here, I'm not going to touch. Oh, I'm getting lots of loops here. Technically, I should have started from the the back so all of this hair wouldn't be in my way but I didn't think it through and I just get excited because the front piece is what I see and it's what bothers me the most. I find that when my roots start coming in it's not the color I don't like I like my natural color it's that it's so flat. When I have highlights in my hair it gives me more volume at the root because otherwise my hair is so soft that it just wants to fall and drop. There's another loop. Damn. I'm gonna start going into every circle now. Having a hot flash, that's not fun. With a plastic bag on your head. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna make this really pretty and this really pretty. I'll tell you this, 10 times mirror is actually really helpful. Now the other thing I should mention, I have a lot of hair. If you don't have a lot of hair, you should not pull every hole. If you have really, you know, fine hair or low density hair, just, be careful. I also don't mind it looking really light, but light suits me. I was born a blonde, so think about your skin tone too if you decide to do something like this. Okay, now I've got to turn myself around and use my mirror. Okay, I couldn't do that on camera. I had to go and use a handheld mirror and go to my bathroom and look in that mirror. So, now for the bleach. Gloves. These gloves I got at Costco. I actually bought them for painting. They're really good and they weren't expensive. Get yourself a cape or wear a really old shirt. I'm using a different bleach today. Wish I had the one that I normally use, but I don't. So I hope you can see that the darkest part is right here. Let's see if you can see this section better. Like right to here. So that's where I'm gonna focus on. And slather that on. And again, because my hair is so light naturally, if I miss pieces, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Where you have to be really careful is when you are dark. The other thing you need to know is when it is really saturated on your hair, like really thick, it's gonna lift better. If I get some on pieces that I don't really want, just drag it off, it's not gonna hurt it. So 
So I can feel I'm going about an inch and a half in. See how it's gotten on that piece? That's okay. I'm just gonna pull it off. It's fine. I'm gonna be messy today, aren't I? I'm saturating those roots. I'm really getting it from both sides. When a cap is used, it's different than foils because when you foil somebody's hair, you have to worry about the amount of time that the hair has, see that? See that's dark, right? You have to worry about the amount of time that the hair has been on the first piece that's been foiled. Where with a cap, you're getting it on pretty much all at once. This won't take very long. So you don't have to worry about one section processing faster than the other section because it's pretty quick comparatively to foils. Once I get all this on, I'm gonna double check everything. Okay, my ends are out, my ends are out, good. This I'm going by feel, so it really would help if you had somebody to help you. I'm using a 20 volume, so I'm not going really high with my developer. Switch over. And I know I've missed pieces in this last kind of corner here. Now it is time to double check everything. This section got a little bit too much bleach here, so I'm just gonna wipe this off. And I wanted really this to be more on the root, so that's fine now. I feel better like that. And always remember that your roots are going to be stronger than your ends. So even if this overlaps a little bit, it's not gonna be crazy on my hair because my hair didn't take much to get it light to begin with, if that makes sense. Even if it overlaps a little bit, my hair's pretty healthy, so it's gonna be okay. But if you have fragile hair that's been over-processed, don't risk it. Now I'm gonna go to the bathroom and check the back because I can't do that here. And then I'm gonna put a bag over this and make sure the bleach doesn't dry out. And then I'll be back. I wanted to show you, I have a bag like this, but you could use a grocery bag, it's fine. All right, the bleach has been on for 45 minutes and I'm gonna double check it. It could come off now if it's developed. It's actually looking pretty good. I'm gonna take a towel and just kind of wipe it off so that I can see what that looks like. So let me just spray a little bit of water. Because this bleach has got a tint of blue, it's hard to tell. So I really wanna get that bleach off that front piece. Yeah, so that is a pale yellow. That's perfect. 45 minutes for this bleach and I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna go wash it off. I'm gonna use a purple shampoo, condition really well, and I'll be back. I feel so much better. That's exactly what was happening. I was wearing my hair up all the time because it just, something wasn't right and it was the volume. So when I highlight my hair, I get all this volume back in here because it's not as soft and it doesn't lie as flat. But that's what the back and the crown looks like. I love it. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.